Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I just might as well let you know, I do feel like praying tonight. So if you bow your hands with me, Father, we just want to thank you for the opportunity to come and stand before the city council. We thank you for their strength, wisdom, and insight. We thank you, Father God, that you would direct their path and every decision that they make. We thank you for the citizens of this great city and Allegheny Highlands. Father God, we thank you for favor. We thank you for blessing us with businesses to come in. We thank you for pouring into this community. We thank you, God, that our city council makes sound decisions and that you will keep them well. We thank you, Father God, for our interim city manager, Alan. We thank you for giving him insight and instruction. We thank you, Father God, for the opportunity to stand before this podium and pray and ask for blessings upon our community. We thank you, O oh God, in this time that people are saying there's a recession and there's all this inflation. We thank you that our city is blessed, God, because we have people who stand before the throne, God, and we thank you for the opportunity, Father God, that our children are blessed in our schools. We thank you for the consolidated school systems, that you work all of that out. We thank you for all of our first responders and all those who stand for our citizens. We ask that you would bless us and lead us and guide us into our future and to the things that you have for us because you prepared great things for us and we thank you for this opportunity in the name of the one that we call Jesus. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to say so we had three young uh, black males, African American young men travel here from Maryland up up in Baltimore, and so anyway, they were talking to me about how relaxed they felt in the community, how relaxed they felt getting in their vehicle, going to different places, not being stopped, not being looked at like, what are you doing here? We don't know you. The one young man said, my mom was so clear. He said, you know, I came here and I was able to get my vehicle and I, we weren't stopped on every corner by the police. We weren't looked at. He said, we, you know, we got out. We had a good time in this community. And piggybacking off of what Alan said, he was like, oh, my gosh, the, the fresh air, you know. We, we can go hunting if we want. You know, we can walk the path. And I wanted to pay that compliment to the police force to tell them that these young men, too, had been here since they were maybe six. But it is very good and important to know that people can come here in this community and feel a part of the community. Though they may not live here, they have an investment of a home that belongs to the grandmother. So I just wanted to say kudos and let you know that we are, I guess, we are trying our best to do better by our visitors. So thank you. Thanks, Good. 